so much has grown. But there are no roots, no herbs. What are you looking at, Jonathan? The garden is in disorder. I want it to be right again, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Before I became prior, I thought the same about Kingsbridge. Well, what did you do? I cleaned up. Where do we start? Hmm. Hmm. Some plants are weeds and must go before we can plant new seeds. What are weeds? They take away what the other plants need to grow. Light, water, room. What do we do? Pluck them. They look a lot like every other plant, so you need to learn how to tell them apart. Here, you see those? They're called wood sorrel. Let's pluck only those for now. Hold it. If you insist. Make sure to pull out all of the thin roots. And now what do I do? For plants to take root, the soil must be loose and fertile. So, may I dig now? Done. What's next? Stay here. I'll be right back. Now, where did you put them? Ah, here they are. I found these nuts for you. Remember, Milius? You always said that one day there will be a beech tree growing here. I think it's about time. Remember Milius, a kind man with a warm smile. Well, he told me to give you this. Wow! Now we just have to wait. All right. Um, how long? Too long for us to keep sitting here. Uh, that long. Some things take time. And only... 
patience will you receive your reward. Why do we have to do all these things if all we had to do is wait? Simply waiting would not have been enough, Jonathan. You just paved the way for things to take their course. They are happening right now. And in a few days' time, he will return and see the first green leaf of something new. Oh, um, is it God's reward? Maybe. Does he make things grow? You made it. No, I just planted the seed. Hmm. Now you can fetch some water from the rain barrel. But that water's smelly. It's been there forever. There are many trees by the river. I bet that water's better. That's a longer walk, though. I don't mind. The distance is worth it. Maybe you're right. It is worth it. Let's walk together, then. But I'll carry the bucket. Never then. But I'll carry the bucket. Why isn't religious holding the sermon? What's gotten into Philip? Our church lies in ruins. But all of this, these dire times, have revealed something important to us. Something that until, maybe until today, I wasn't aware of. What do you mean? You've been praying in these ruins. But you've been praying like you always did, in humbleness. We don't need a church for prayer. Where else are we going to pray? The chapter house? The church is where God resides. God doesn't work in the ways we might assume. Today, Jonathan tended to our garden to make it beautiful again. And he told me of things I almost had forgotten. Good and evil are not in here or out there. They are within each of us. God made us in his image. Thus, we carry the godly spark within us. But we have witnessed that man can have the devil in his heart as well. Prayer needs no special place, for we are his church. In our actions, he exists. We are God's temple. No man is closer to God than any other man. Whether you pray in church or on the streets of our towns. Whether you're a man, woman, monk or bishop. Philip, look outside. You have to see them. You've got to see the horses and the colors. Jonathan. Now, what's going on? I, I heard noises and I went to look. Calm down. What happened? But the priest said they brought a miracle. Who? What? What priest? Step right up, brothers and sisters. 
For you are about to see something that will change your life. Who is that? They brought us a miracle. A miracle? Don't be shy. There is no danger. Just awe that awaits you here. Ah, you must be Prior Philip. I am Brother Reynold. I have been sent by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Here is his letter, in case you have reasonable doubts. We've been charged to accompany the Weeping Madonna. She is to replace the loss of your relic, said Adolphus the Martyr, who was taken from you, I hear, with brute force. What? On her travel from far away Africa, she has collected donations to reward Kingsbridge for your faith in her and in the Lord. I can't believe this. What is all this? You do believe. That is why she came. And that is why you shall witness her miracle for yourself today. The Weeping Madonna came to me in a faraway land named Africa. A baptized Saracen was her former guardian, and I and the custodians of the Holy Virgin were chosen to take her on a journey. Please tell us more. Of course. My words shall prepare you for the sight of the Holy Madonna. I knew not her powers or destination. Nevertheless, I carried her for many miles. Many bore witness to her miracle before it dawned upon me. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. But I wondered, what shrine should be her shelter? What country? We have traveled all the way from a place of wonders too marvelous to behold. The faraway land of Africa. Africa has many countries, I've heard. Yes, it does. She said, You shall build me a new church in Kingsbridge. What's it like in Africa? The sun is always shining, and miracles happen every day. It's a land of... Great deserts, fig trees, and creatures that an Englishman can't even dream up. Like these horses. Are they horses? They are not. To you, they might resemble horses. But the name the Africans have for these creatures is impossible to pronounce, even for me. And along the road, from Paris, Across Normandy. You mentioned there were fig trees in Africa. What are they? It's, uh, it's a fruit, of course. It looks like a strawberry and tastes like pear. The scripture mentions these figs, and they sound nothing like that. Why is that? No two apples look or taste alike. Uh, the same goes for figs, and doubly so. I'm getting the impression that this man has never even been to Africa. But why would he lie? Hmm. The Weeping Donna has chosen you, all of you. I will tell you again, dear brothers and sisters. Un saluto a tutti gli utenti di Console Tribe, sedicesimo capitolo di The Pillars of the Art. Uh, vi ho lasciato una lunga introduzione, uh, perché avete visto un po' le cose che sono successe, tutta parte narrativa, e ho deciso di uh, lasciarvela godere senza il mio commento, come faccio sempre. Adesso siamo con Padre Philip. Ragazzi, ciò che sta succedendo mi sembra molto chiaro. Aliena e Jack sono tornati, li avete visti anche voi lì. In bella vista, uh, con la maschera, però per non farsi riconoscere. Però ormai noi sappiamo benissimo, anche perché 
Uh, sappiamo benissimo perché sono loro perché c'è quella madonnina che lacrima se si trova all'ombra e quindi insomma sappiamo uh, a chi appartiene quella madonnina a Jack uh, che ha l'ha ricevuta in regalo da un uomo durante il suo viaggio tra la Spagna e la Francia We are guardians of the Holy Virgin that we were appointed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, but it was the Holy Virgin herself who chose us. Vabbè, adesso fanno. How did that happen? She speaks without. E parla senza parole. Vabbè, ragazzi, possiamo anche evitare questi dialoghi abbastanza inutili. Cerchiamo di capire dove andare più che altro. My dear people, did you hear that? Capire dov'è che si devi andare. Vabbè, sì, ragazzi, qua sono tutti i dialoghi extra che sto saltando a pie pari. C'è anche il ragazzino qui. Questi sono cavalli con... <ride> sono cavalli con la gobba finta, ragazzi. Meraviglioso, è meraviglioso tutto questo. È bellissimo. Sì, vabbè, anche qui evitiamo i dialoghi. Quest'altro non capisce l'inglese, ma mamma mia, ragazzi. Ma per inventarsela sta baracconata, ce n'è voluto, eh. Sì, vabbè, nessuno parla inglese. E che cavolo devo fare? C'è uno in Africa, sono sicuro. Perché non pretendi che non parli inglese? No, vabbè, ragazzi. Fingono di non saper parlare inglese. Sono meravigliosi. E lì dietro chi c'è, ragazzi? C'è il figlio di Aliena. E Jack, dietro la tenda. Eh, vedete come tira fuori la testa? Vediamo un po'. Sì, devo capire come fare ad andare avanti. Perché sono in un punto morto. Non riesco a capire come andare avanti. It came to me in a dream. It was Kingsbridge. Eh, shh. I could have continued to carry her from town to town until my flesh succumbed. Vabbè, niente, da qui non posso fare nulla. E but I wondered. Cacchio, devo fare. Non riesco a capire. Sì, no, devo trovare il modo per avanzare. Mo, o devo tornare lì dietro quando il bambino mette la testa fuori, cosa altamente probabile. Sì, vabbè, qua parlano del più e del meno. Sì, vabbè, non, non ci interessa. Gli salto proprio i dialoghi, ragazzi, perché veramente non stanno aggiungendo niente al tutto. Sì, vogliamo ascoltare la storia, vabbè, chi se ne frega. E, e sì, oh, e di là non, non c'è niente. Proviamo a rimettere piede qui, quando il bambino mette la testa fuori. Marmocchio? Marmocchio, tira fuori la testa. Dai, eccolo. Ecco, adesso vediamo. Chiedi al bambino il suo nome. Sì, dai. Sono Fili, tu sei, e compagnia bella. Chiedi al bambino se vuole vedere il miracolo. Vabbè, no, ragazzi, è surreale questo episodio, davvero, è, è surreale. Cioè, non... non ha senso di esistere. Quindi, di qua niente. Speriamo di non ritornare lì. Sì, non, non ho capito che devo fare. E quindi mi trovo veramente un punto morto. La Madonna sa come hai sofferto. The Virgin Mother had to witness the rise and fall of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and never stop believing. Kingsbridge has endured many hardships. Prior James left you before his time when you needed him the most. Your old cathedral was burned to the ground. How do you know this? And your new one collapsed even before construction was finished. You have suffered. 
the ruthless destruction of your market, homes, and lives. Dada. All of you have lost husbands, wives, and children, family, and friends. Dada. All of you know how it is to be hungry and afraid. Jack. Aliena. Philip. But this is... A miracle, isn't it? Or something along those lines. But how? We thought it was time to give Tommy a home. The boy? Your boy? Well, Philip? Do you recognize him? Our little Tommy? Tommy? But... It's been almost three years since I last saw you, Jack. Where on earth did you find him? I'd almost given up looking for him. Then Tommy found him. And you decided to come back. Well, this is our home, after all. Then what on earth is all this? This miracle? With the Madonna, we were able to collect donations for your priory, and for Kingsbridge. Really? We can start anew. We can rebuild the cathedral. What's the catch? I'll get to be master builder. Why? I've studied the cathedrals, churches, and houses they build in France and Spain. I saw how different their constructions were, with new shapes, colors, and ideas. Oh, you should have seen it. They combined rib vaulting and pointed arches. I want to do that. That's why. Why here? Because this is home. What you're doing is selling the people a lie. This is a harmless deception. There is no such thing as a harmless deception. It serves the same purpose as an illuminated drawing in the Bible. Our show illustrates the truth that the Weeping Madonna comes from a faraway land, which it does. And she can weep too, though that is more of a technical achievement. You want to sell something explainable as a miracle? The church does the same. You said so yourself. You even wrote a book about it. Yes, I said that it was not right that the church is faking miracles. But it works, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. Jack! Aliena! You came back! We wanted to see you, little sister. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. But look at you! And the little one! Tommy. How are the others? Alfred left Kingsbridge. Richard shows up every now and then, and Ellen returned to the forest. We need to visit her. Father lives with her now. What's wrong, Martha? I'm glad you're back. I am too. Very glad. She looks like she's about to cry. She will weep for your suffering, Kingsbridge. She knows your pain. What now? The miracle. Her eyes are wet. <gasps> <gasps> Her eyes. Look at her. Heaven. They're shining. She cannot hold her tears any longer. She is made of wood. It's impossible. <gasps> Why are you weeping? She is mute ever since her husband died. The Madonna has <gasps> suffered as I have. She understands. <laughs> It seems through her faith in all of your lies. Mary has found 
a miracle. We can't keep trying to repair Kingsbridge by ourselves. Things are not improving. We're struggling to keep things as they are. But we can't afford to hire help. Without farming and fairs, we're back to prior James's time. All these past years, my advice was good enough for you. But it appears you've changed your mind now, again. It is time we started doing something to wake up and make Kingsbridge what it used to be. We did before and we could do it again. I'm not willing to accept a risk like that. Don't you remember what happened last time? My, my, how easily we forget. I remember well. And still, you put your trust into a group of random strangers to make things better. Philip, why in God's name have you stood by and let this happen? They're tricking us into giving them money for false idols. They are giving us money. So that we'll place this idol in our priory? Do you approve of this? No, I don't approve of their deception. The Madonna is a trick, no miracle. But the people have already decided, and I won't take away the hope they found. Did you not see what happened to Mary? I saw, and I see that you intentionally turn a blind eye to the lies of your friends. I'm warning you. I cannot support a prior who tolerates heresy. Your threat won't sway me. No matter how unconventional, their return and their gift are a blessing. You made your decision, Philip of Gwyneth. And now, I make mine. I resign. I'm leaving the Priory. You got so big, Tommy. <laughs> and you're just as shy as your father was. Don't let him fool you. Usually, he's always up to something. We are so proud of you. Of both of you. Is she still here? Hmm? Your wife, Agnes. No. Ellen and Martha moved her to Kingsbridge. She got a proper burial this time. Will you come back with us, too? Would you want that? Yes. I need your help with the cathedral. Philip and I have big plans. We'll come. Ellen, we found Jack's family in Cherbourg. The place he came from wasn't Cherbourg, it was Cherbourg. But... <laughs> really? What were they like? They were good people. His grandmother said Jack looked just like him, like his father. He does. But they never came for him or, or asked about him. They thought he was dead, his ship sunk. He'd always wanted to go to England. Have you ever heard of the White Ship? Uh, no. The King's family drowned. My father was there. He was the only one who survived. Not for long. You told me that he was accused of stealing a chalice. Yes. But... but I know he was innocent. I heard the story and had to find out what he looked like. He told me his name. I fell in love. I helped him escape. But in the end, they caught up with us. What happened then? They hanged him. I was there. And you were there, Jack. 
But you weren't born yet. He was led to the gallows. Everyone was quiet. The people somehow knew he was not a thief. But I knew for sure. He told me. He was so afraid. He didn't want to die. I didn't want him to die. And I prayed. Then I heard his voice. Quiet. Than ever, as if the falling melody might wing and net dissever. At dusk, the hunter took his prey, the lark, his freedom. No! No! <laughs> you said that three men were responsible for father's death. Who were they? A sheriff of Shiring, Percy Hamley, Prior James of Kingsbridge, and Archdeacon Whaler and Bygod. They showed no mercy. Neither did I. I curse you, all of you. He will return to haunt you. One day, you will be judged for what you did. Your houses shall be consumed by fire. Your life shall end in pain and agony. You shall grow old in sadness and regret. The people they killed will return to haunt them. I promised them. We welcome our new prior, Remigius. He helped to recover the bones of the saint of Kingsbridge, Adolphus, from the hands of thieves. Adolphus already rests safely in this great cathedral of Shiring. Our master builder Alfred promised me that it will only be a matter of a few years until the cathedral will be finished. And the Earl of Shiring has promised to support us. But he has not done so for himself. No, the Earl is not a selfish man. His mother, Lady Hamley is sick. More and more, I feel the whole of England is suffering from a sickness. The sickness of war, poverty, and most of all, heathen beliefs. I have spoken to God. I asked him, begged him to walk amongst us, to heal us. But God told me, that only when this great cathedral is finished will he have a temple to reside in. No matter the cost, this shall be a towering castle to protect us from evil and false beliefs. With this cathedral, we will bring an end to the dark times. Whaler and by God! Jack, what are you doing here? My father died by your hands, Waleran. His name was Jacques Sherborg. How dare you talk to the bishop like that? He died right here. Who are you? I know that man. He's that bastard from Kingsbridge. That man is my husband. You? All of you, listen to what we have to say. From now on, Kingsbridge is protected. By our knights, by our walls, and by the word of the king. So whatever you do, we will defend our town, our market and fulling mills. And our cathedral, which we shall rebuild. All workers are invited to come and work for us. <laughs> Preposterous. 
If you so much as try to bring harm to us, Bishop, we will make sure that you pay for everything you did. E va bene ragazzi, è già finito. Eh, bene sì, è già finito. Io praticamente ho commentato 5 minuti perché era tutto narrativo. E mi sembrava giusto lasciare spazio uh, al gioco. Insomma, ho lasciato parlare al gioco perché era um, giusto così dopo comunque tutti gli avvenimenti che sono uh, accaduti, a cui abbiamo assistito. Quindi, hai aiutato Jonathan a piantare un nuovo albero. Vabbè, questo è l'inizio. Hai tenuto il tuo primo sermone dopo lungo tempo, hai disapprovato l'inganno della Madonna, ma ti sei reso conto che dà speranza alla gente. Arena e Jack sono tornati a Kingsbridge. Ragazzi, con The Pillars of the Earth ci vediamo come al solito martedì prossimo, vedremo il capitolo 17, lasciate un bel like, commentate, iscrivetevi al nostro canale YouTube e veniteci a trovare anche sul nostro sito. Grazie a tutti e alla prossima. Ciao ciao!